Shalom. All praises go to the Most High. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakadash. Double on us unto the Elder Apostles at Great Millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, the reason I'm laughing is because this guy, Joe Biden, he signed in a new law. <coughs> now, the law goes as such so much for unity, right? Biden sparks outrage after signing divisive executive order pushing schools to include actually it should said male athletes in girls sports right causing critics to declare that the new president is erasing yeah he is and that's the beautiful part because this whole system is going to crumble down. Now, it says here, uh, some kind of journalist or something like that. On, one, on day one, Biden, blah, 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 women's sport. I want to use fancy words. Get out of here. Uh, any educational institution that receives federal funding must admit to... See, they're using these fancy words again because what do you mean biological male? They want to create so many gender that uh, by the time that they're finished, once you have a conversation with, you know, you see that guy over there? What guy? You mean the biological guy? Or you mean... This stuff like that. You're going to have now, you're going to have like an... um, uh, <laughs> You're going to have an, uh, options in w w what you mean, you know? Athletes, just like biological food. What do you, what do you mean biological? Everything is supposed to be biological. But they, they dumb down the people so so hard, so fast, so great, so powerful, so deep that people are so stupid now. They're actually happy when they buy bio food. I'm, I'm looking at those type of people like it's not a treat. It's not a uh, delicatessa. It's not something that, uh, you know, you should speak highly of. It's actually something that is supposed to be normal. You're supposed to have biological food biological fruit biological vegetables you know you see how dumbed down the, the people basically are Psh, crazy and that's what they're gonna do with the male female thing they're gonna dumb people down with that too just like how they dumb people down with the bio biological food i'm buying biological food you see i care about myself <laughs> there's so there's only supposed to be biological food and nothing else and so-called organic. Everything is supposed to be organic. But this shows you that they have three categories. You got egg. Um, organic food. <laughs> then you have biological food. And then you have just food. You know, which is... And then you have the GMO. And then you have uh, the, 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 the... Actually, the, the other one is... Um, the just food is the one that is uh, sprayed with pesticides. And stuff like that. And you got that too. Right, so now you have like four four categories just of, of uh, different type of foods, you know, just like how they want to create four or actually 72 categories of uh, male and female. Oh, no, genders, actually. <clears throat> right. So it says here athletes to women's team, women's scholarship, etc. They're going to obliterate you, obliterate you. That's what they're going to do. A new glass ceiling was just placed over girls. <laughs> that ceiling is not glass. <laughs> it's brass. <laughs> it's hard as shit. <laughs> it's funny because these devils are tasting. They're, they're on the, um, the, you know, uh, what do they say? The chickens come home to roost. Yeah, that one, but the, I don't want to use that one. The other one, <clears throat> the harvest. Yeah, they reap what they sow. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I was looking for. Sad day for women's sports. Women must compete against, see, they're doing it again. Well, what do you mean biological? So is there anything other than that? No, because they have also, you have females that then, uh, trans themselves into males. So now... In order to actually specifically target actual men, what the Heavenly Father created, they say biological. But then again, these monkeys are the same people that say 
bio, uh, bio and uh, whatever has nothing to do what makes you a man or a woman. So, see, see, see how they, their snake tongue is catching up to them? <laughs> they reap what they sow. So it says here, women must compete against men, okay? At the risk of injury, they're going to beat your skulls <laughs> up. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Jen, Jen in the MMA fighter uh, breaks skull. <laughs> he beat the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> it was just crazy. She, she tough. She thinks she gonna fight this dude. <laughs> This motherfucker standing like I'm gonna break you <laughs> with a voice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bust your fucking face. <laughs> and she thinks she gonna fight. Man, he cracked the skull so hard. And then she came back and said, I don't know what happened. <laughs> hey, sorry for laughing, man. But you know what's funny? Devils. Devils are funny to me. The devil logic, chimp-based logic, mammal-minded thoughts. These are just some pebbles, and they're stupid, and it's funny. And here he was, cracking her skull open. You can't seem to get a picture of that. You know? But this dude, you know, let me stop laughing. Yeah, I gotta laugh innerly. But this dude, this dude, he cracked her skull open. Where's the where's the picture, man? He was busting his mu That's a full force blown man, man, uh, giving that a uh, punch, and it was like what twenty two second fight or something like that. I don't know how long the fight went on. I saw I, I saw a clip of it, but then I didn't see the full fight. But it says here, transgender fighter on a Fallon Fox breaks opponent's skull. And then we see Briggs skull of her of his female opponent. What the fuck you mean her female opponent? This guy's just a joke. These people, these people are on um they're just they're just they're just bugged out, man. You know? But anyway. So of course uh it's gonna be a risk of injury and loss of title. You're gonna you're gonna lose thanks to the new Biden executive order. Don't ever tell me this is pro woman. It's not. It's destructive and malicious. No, it's not. Oh, now y'all finding out that it is destructive and malicious. Ooh, but here comes the sodomite. I see hashtag Biden erase women tre uh, trending. So seems like a good time. So seems like a good time to remind everyone that trans people have been around in every recorded culture. Biden has simply said that he's not going to allow people like you to be discriminated against for using female toilets as we've always done. Really. <clears throat> and then they, uh, funny, funnily enough, they find, they always find Jake sodomites to actually push so-called, um, diversity and that, that unity and stuff like that. W what? You gotta watch these devils. They often use Jakes to push their satanic agendas, you know, and then they glorify them. You gotta think of the mind of this demon here. Why doesn't he sit back and say, "Hey, wait a minute, it's not fair. I'm a male, and I'm much stronger than these and uh, weak links, you know, compared to this this above <laughs> beast, you know." And uh, this, this, this is just, this is just funny as hell. Uh, listen to this devil speak. A lie is coming out of his snout again. Inauguration is not about us, but about you, the American people. This is a great nation. We're good people, and to overcome the challenges in front of us requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy: unity. It requires us to come together in common love that defines us as Americans. Opportunity. Unity and common love that defines us as Americans. These fucking devils hate us, hated the so-called black man <clears throat> and the so-called Native American man. Um, 
than the mother buster and still he talking about unity he doesn't mean unity with you he means unity for all satanic people because if you look at that uh, if you look at this thing you know uh, trans rights are you are human rights what, what, what do you see here <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. these are the type of people they and you know it's funny the person that took this picture i bet you they got hundreds of thousands of well not thousands but they got they got they got multiple pictures okay hundred maybe hundred maybe more than a hundred and stuff like that but they choose this one to promote which shows you what these people are all about they're a bunch of witches and this one is a sea witch <laughs> funny the sea of babylon which that sea will turn into a lake of fire right the sea be the people the people are witches right so uh that's funny but look at this dude man crazy <laughs> more buff than me <laughs> look, look, look at this shit it's hilarious man hilarious this is hilariously stupid crazy so they beating them and uh <clears throat> so let me wrap it up because i got one i got a few scriptures lined up here the you know uh, now I typed in this. Uh, I, I typed in this word on Google. That word, I mean, not this word. I mean this thing on Google because I wanted to see these doofuses. So I clicked on this thing here, and then I saw this dude. I was like, "Eh, this dude looked like a female. Look at his face, and look at this. <laughs> this got spirits on him though." This got demons on the dog. For real, for real. It's an actual female. She probably asking herself, like, what's going on? <laughs> I have to sit still. Or else he's going to beat me if he can't do my hair. Look at her face. She looked like she kidnapped or something, man. You know, she's under pressure. You know what I'm But look at this dude. You know, this, this, this looks like a dude. But look at this dude. I ain't playing. Look at this dude. You need to shave your fucking mustache, nigga. Look at this shit. Look at it. I don't know what these parents are fucking doing. I think them parents are sodomites too, man. You can't have a boy looking like this. That's, that's, that don't make no damn sense. That don't make no damn sense. This dude look like a girl. You need to shave that mustache, boy. Need to shave that much that. But this thing looked like a girl. Look at it. Fucking crazy. And they beating them. They beating them and they can't win. They can't get up. They just can't win. You know what I'm saying? So now they crying. Yeah. And then I looked up this dude. Of course, I'm not even going to look this. This is just weird. Uh, but then, uh, anyway, if they don't. If they don't. Then, um, Where is it? Here? Yeah. If they if they don't if they don't comply to the new law, uh, Biden executive order says schools should include trans males, male athletes and girl sports, because it's not it's not it's not a girl that turns into a boy that now wants to actually run with other girls. No, it's not that. It's a man, a male. Well, those are not men; those are males. So it says here. The order is, is a strong signal that the Justice Department is going to enforce it via title, whatever. Um, and schools that do not comply risk losing funding. So they're going to get you where it hurts, the pocket. Now it says here, all persons should receive equal treatment under the law. Shut the fuck up. You devils are not treating our people equal. You're treating sodomites to your equality and your standards of acceptance. No matter their gender, pff, that okay, that's true. Identity, what do you identify yourself as, or sexual orientation, <clears throat> whether or not you fuck dogs or not, you know the order states, you know sexual orientation. What bullshit is that? Anyway, so the point is that what's going on right now is <laughs> a total destruction of this. Uh, this society, which is beautiful, because I can't wait for their society to fall down. Because if sex includes discrimination on the basis of gender identity, yeah, gender identity, definitely, 
oh, uh, gend oh, the gender identity. Oh, I read it separately. I, I read gender and then uh, separately uh, identity. It's not talking about race. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't give a shit about that. You know, was the last time you saw a sodomite get shot 50 times by the police or an Arab or a Chinese or not even a, not even a, a, a not even a sodomite like this. They don't shoot them because because, you know, they are they're are afraid of shooting them because <clears throat> they, then they're going to get that backlash. You know what I'm saying? But if they shoot her like a Jake, a straight Jake, it's not a big deal, you know? Cause that that's their enemy, their target, right? So and, um, right, so they're gonna lose funding. What was I reading? Yeah, this is what this guy said. This one, this Andre Yearwood picture. Andre, <laughs> running has been so important for my identity. <laughs> what? Don't make no goddamn sense. Anyway, my growth as a person. You know the person. And my ability to, to survive in a world that discriminates against me. Really? Andre Yearwood wrote to the court. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry for laughing, man. This is just ridiculous. It's just funny. It's very funny to me, man. This is just funny, you know? I'm thankful that I live in Connecticut. You damn sure thankful, boy. Because that glass house where you in, where I can be treated as a girl in all aspects of life and not face discrimination at school, they scared of you. That's why. Because if they say anything, man, them charges become so hard upon them because they protect their own. Satan loves Satan. So they protect Satanists. And if you think you're not a Satanist, you'll find out. Just because you don't worship Satan like a, a normal witch does, doesn't mean that you don't worship Satan. You know what I'm saying? So it says here, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Woe unto them, this, this dude over here, this dudette. Where is this guy? Yeah, here. Woe unto them that call evil good. And good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter they just changing everything around that's it Isaiah 29 and 16 surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay so that is, is surely 100% the turning of the things upside down they put everything upside down shall be esteemed it shall be seen as something great esteemed held in great respect admired you see a lot of people they be admiring these um these 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 um they admire in them you know they put them in high regards and stuff like that as a clay that is made by a potter because think about it this is actually just clay. It's just clay. And it's worth $53 million. But it literally is clay. It's it's some it's clay. It's it's this. This. This is what it is. This is literally what it is. Of course, you got more expensive clay, you know. You got more expensive clay, like this one. But still, it's clay. It, it, it's clay. It's worthless. But it's esteemed. All of a sudden, it's fifty-three million. You man, you got to be. I'm gonna tell you, man. If you if you make if you was to make this, like you know, you go on the street, you make you take clay, and then you form a vase or vase, and then all of a sudden it's fifty three million. I have no words for that, man. I, I'm looking at it like, 
The things in this world are bullshit. That's what they are. So it says here, For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? And shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? The Heavenly Father framed everything. The Heavenly Father made everything. And then you thought you basically bypassing these, not only bypassing these laws, but by, by dressing like this, you're telling the Heavenly Father that basically he, he had no understanding in what he was doing. Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore, Yahweh said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, God bless America. That's what they say. And our people do the same. Because <laughs> who, who's running? It's, yeah, it's our people. Again. And with their lips do honor me. Oh, I love God. You know, you can love God. But have removed their heart far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So, by the precepts of men, meaning the interpretations of devils like this, that tell you that, you know, it's good, it's good. You know, you don't have to fear the Lord. It's all good. Meanwhile, the Bible says, Revelation, uh, Levit Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So it's their own fault. You have not committed murder. And the other one is... Deuteronomy 22 and, two and, and uh, 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So even dressing up like a female is not, not a good thing. And what do these dudes do? Yeah, there are two men, two males. Okay. I'm not going to adjust myself to your lies. Thou shalt not lie. You should remember that scripture every day of your life. Uh, when it comes to an, um, uh, talking about people like this. Don't lie to yourself. Don't be a liar. Yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this picture. Here. Where is it? Here. Like, these are women's clothing. This is an abomination if you're walking like this upon the planet Earth. This is, this is just, this is just crazy. I, I have no words, man. I have no I don't know. Your parents, your parents are cursed, boy, making you look like that. It's horrible. I don't even know where the parents are. Uh, let me see here. Now it says here, Second Peter chapter 2, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them, them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So guess what? This is this is uh, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. They, they got destroyed. But this is an example to what will happen to people that live ungodly. So this is ungodly, man. And I think it's hilarious because now... What was this? <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to beat this guy. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to beat this guy. This is just funny in itself, man. In itself is just funny, you know. <clears throat> Get this out of here, man. In itself is just funny. But this shows you that these these Edomites, they 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 think 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 about it. Think about it. Like, is this does this guy not know that he is actually being uh, unfair? He doesn't care. Because people like this only care about themselves. Yes, sodomites. I'm talking about sodomites. They only care about themselves. They don't care about the rest of the world because it's all about the me, me, me movement right about now. Yeah, yeah not the movement. I mean the me, me, me. You know? To please themselves, lovers of self and stuff like that. And once that time comes, these same females are going to complain because they're already complaining now. But they wasn't complaining last year. Or actually, two years ago, three years ago, I think. Because uh, this guy, uh, my main man, <laughs> what's his name again? And, uh, Trumpy. Yeah, Trumpy. It says here in Connecticut, the Trump administration intervened in support, so intervened, or something like that, inter uh, intervened 
in support of the of a lawsuit filed by several I, I, I don't even know what this is I don't even know what what, what to think that it is no 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 I think it's just females right in Connecticut who were seek yeah see 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 who were seeking to block a state policy that allows male athletes to compete in line with their delusion it says uh, the plaintiff argues that male runners had an unfair physical advantage See, I, I gotta I gotta like I have to I have to get a, a lawyer to come and read this contract for me here because I, I <laughs> it's it's bullshit is bullshit. You ha you you need a lawyer to, to 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 maneuver around these tricky snake tongue words. You know, they're speaking lies as soon as they be born. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter. I'm oh, sorry, Psalms chapter fifty eight, verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies their poison is like the poison of a serpent they are like the uh, the deaf adder that stop at her ear they're very stubborn and they're demonic which will not hearken to the voice of charmers charming never so wisely break their teeth O Yahweh, in their mouth break out the great teeth of the young lions O Yahweh. they need to be destroyed because they're coming up with these lies, man. These satanic ass lies that will destroy people, right? Woe, uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity, right? And the last one here. <clears throat> Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of of their hands this devil has been given the power to run amok upon the planet earth and like i said they always include us when it's about that wicked shit but when it's about being successful and stuff like that they always uh disclude us so as much as possible you gotta remember that remember that when for example when they put the commercials on television here in holland you see uh damn it i just i just had that wait Right here, uh, here in Holland, you see this. This is the face of so-called black females in the commercials here in Holland. Why? Because their mother is this. Or or their father is this. But that that's what they push. You know. But when they wanna, when they wanna, like, an, uh, how you call that thing? This is what they push. This is what they push. This is the, like the the promotional thing. What you need to be according to the fucking devils. These these demonites. But then, um, when when it's when it's like uh, shit, shitty things like evil shit, like you know sodomy, especially sodomy, then he goes and goes out of his way, and then he finds clowns like like this. Then he find then he goes then he gonna find this shit, or he he gonna find the actual black females, you know. Then he pushes them when it's clown shit, when it's evil shit. When it's uh, basically sin and just, just, just you know, commercials with eating pork or something like that, then he finds the so-called pure ones. But when it's when it's when it's a promotion on prosperity and so-called beauty and stuff like that, you know, something to, to to desire to be, then he pushes this. So he's the devil. He knows exactly what he's doing, and I know it too. I can see it. It's in the power of their hands to be doing stuff like this. And that's why they pass in laws like this, which is an unlawful uh, law. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness that they have prescribed. Turn uh, To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And that's what they're doing to our people. Yeah? And they're doing it with this thing also. Basically, they're turning away the 
Yeah, you call that the the the, 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 the so called power that the, 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 these females have uh, amongst each other because you can't compete with a man, and they know that. But they're talking about yeah, we're equal. There's nothing different between, you know, a male transgender and uh, to the, to the, to the, and a female. Oh, that's why I call them hypocrites because they're devils too. Only when it start to threaten their threaten their and uh, their livelihood and stuff like that. Now all of a sudden it's unfair. Now all of a sudden. It's pro is not pro female. It's uh it's actually uh, destroying. Well, where's that hashtag nonsense? It's uh erasing females uh, you know existence type thing in, in sports. So now all of a sudden it's a big deal. Well, what about five years ago? The five years it wasn't a big deal back then, because this thing was not in full effect. He just passed his law this year, so this is beautiful, you know. Slowly but surely, you see the hypocrisy of these <laughs> these devils, these Edomites, these demonites. You see the you see the you see the hypocrisy of them, man. Now all of a sudden, it's a sad day. Why? It was great all these other years, <clears throat> you know. Slowly but surely, they're seeing the after effects of their stupidic ways. Uh, stu uh, yeah, stu stupidic yeah, stuff, stu stupid ways, whatever. Stupa, is that stupid? Is is is, is it real? Um, anyway, uh, their hypocr uh, hypocrisy. Stupid. Hm. I don't know how I got to that word stupidic. Maybe I wanted to say idiotic, something like that. Anyway, so the thing is that. Uh, they, they reap what they sow, and it's now coming up in their faces. And now, all of a sudden, they realize that uh, <laughs> they're, they're demonic. But it's beautifully, beautifully too late. That's the beauty. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put the link in the description box. You see, you can see him complaining. I was laughing the whole video because <clears throat> she's complaining. Female athletes worry. This is uh, January 23. It says here, female athletes worry Biden's order on male gender, uh, male athletes will end girl sports. Yes, it will. What do you mean you're worried? <laughs> you dumbass. All that, because she was, uh, she was, uh, you know, she would beat them because she's a Jake. You got to understand that. It's still a Jake, even though her mother is the Edomite. This is still a Jake. This is still a Jake child. This is a Israelite. It's just an Israelite. And she pretended if, if she would turn to the, to the Heavenly Father, he would accept her if she would turn to the Heavenly Father. And, and she would be saved. You know? She would be able to... She is able to be saved. None of these beasts can, can be. See, they, they need to be on their, on their foot. You know? But then, uh, the thing... And they will be on their foot. Not, not just need. They will. But the thing is that she was uh, prominent or so how, however you call it uh, prominent she was uh, pro she would she would pro she would beat everybody if the guys wasn't there so now you know that's why they're interviewing her because she's the I saw her running here or something like that here she's actually it's a Jake and no matter what you say it is a Jake the, yes they are using her as a uh, escape goat hey I just remember the video about that I'm gonna upload that video uh, after this one, just to show you how they created this and um, divide and conquer, and what did they, how they create the house Negro, for example, because in in slavery she would be the house Negro, because she would be more on um, you know, pleasant for these devils to look at, and not just look, they would touch you too, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm done. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And I'm laughing at these devils because they're destroying their own shit, and, which is beautiful. But the people don't know. But he knows. He knows what he's doing. He's not stupid. He's just a devil. There's a difference between that. Stupidity and devils. It, it's kind of almost the same, but uh, the devil knows what he's doing. Is he stupid? Yes. But he knows what he's doing. The other, the people, they're just stupid. They don't know what the hell is going on. They think it's a new opportunity upon the planet Earth. They don't realize, like, <laughs> you at your end. 
<laughs> you at your end. So with that, let me say shalom.